I am now joined by Judy Mancuso, who has an amazing story that took my breath away because I am a diehard animal lover. Judy, can you tell me about your organization that you founded? Yes, thank you. It's called Social Compassion and Legislation. It's a 501c4 organization, and we focus primarily on animal welfare issues in California, although in this last year we uh, expanded to the state of New York as well. Very impressive. Now, if I recall, you saw a TV special in 1990, I believe, that helped spearhead this movement for you. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, um, my friend at the time, uh, Keely Shea Smith, who is now Keely Brosnan, was on TV and, and did a um, segment on pet overpopulation. And what that means is uh, in the state of California, we bring in 1 million animals into our shelters every year and we kill over 500,000. Shocking statistics. Horrible, because there's not enough space. So as they're coming through the door and the cages are filled up, they euthanize them, even though euthanize should be saved for animals that are actually sick and dying, but that's what we do, uh, to make more space. So when she did this segment, I didn't realize this was the situation, and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to do something to help. Interesting. So how long has it been since, that was 1990, and we're now in 2015, that is decades worth of work that you have invested into this journey. Being honored this evening with the Beauty In and Beauty Out tour, how do you think this, this award is going to help to propel and continue to uh, push you to continue your journey and mission? Well, what I hope is that it spreads the word for animal welfare and for the work that I'm doing. And hopefully uh, from that, people will want to join and help as well uh, because a big part of it is building coalitions and having a lot of people doing a lot of different things and getting the word out raising awareness, helping with the legislation. When it's time to call the assembly member or senator, the people pick up the phone and call or send the email. It, it, it really, it, it's a group effort. Can't do it by ourselves. Of course. And today, how many members or organizations have you partnered with now to oh, continue, wow. to this, continue <laughs> on this? I mean, I would assume there's a lot of you there, know, coalitions. Yes, yes. And it, it kind of, like which piece of uh, legislation we're working on uh, or what the, um, the program is will dictate who we go to. Like we just banned bobcat trapping in the state of California. So we worked with a lot of wildlife groups to do that. But then we just passed a bill that uh, made the shelter pet, the state pet of California, and in doing that, we partnered with uh, shelter folks that run all the shelters, humane societies, SPCAs, and uh, government shelters in the state. So it just depends on the topic, and we'll uh, reach out to everybody and, and try to join forces and get things done. Excellent. It's all about solutions. All about solutions as someone who's making a powerful impact in the community of animals. Judy Mancuso, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you.